Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me. This is Sierra from Sierra T Designs and today I get to be a part of an amazing collab with Alicia from Call Me Crafty Al's YouTube channel. I get to be a part of her Inspired Saturday which is a series where you get inspired by a card that we both have made. So she'll be doing a card that I have made, she'll be inspired by it, and I'm going to be inspired by a card that she made. So here you can see I'm just kind of scrolling through her Instagram picking a card that I like, and there were many, but in the end I did choose this birthday card that I have on screen. So let's jump in. So here you can see that I have a piece of cardstock just trimmed down, and I'm treating it with my anti-static powder tool. Because I have used pixie spray on the back of this stencil before, I didn't want any of that pixie spray to kind of transfer onto my cardstock because I am going to add embossing powder. So I just kind of treated it with my anti-static powder tool first and then I kind of went in with my Versamark ink and I'm just kind of pouncing it into the balloon wells there. Um, it's not its not exactly a, uh, like a perfect um, amount of ink or anything like that. I, I mean, I guess you could have pressed the ink against the paper instead. Um, I just chose to do it this way. I think it was a bit easier. And I'm just adding some Brutus and Monroe white um, alabaster embossing powder to everywhere on the cardstock. And I'm trying to keep my fingers out of it. I don't know if you can really see very well where the uh, embossing powder is, but um, I just kind of uh, held it on the edges where there was no embossing powder and then just I'm going to heat set it until it's smooth and melted. And sorry, I get a little bit out of frame here. It's hard to judge uh, always where the camera is when I'm heat setting things. So I kind of get a little bit out of the frame there. <clears throat> so then we're going to move on to the ink blending, which is probably one of my favorite uh, techniques. If you've checked out my channel, you'll know that I have a lot of ink blending videos on my channel because it is by far one of my favorite techniques. And that's probably one of the other reasons I ended up choosing this specific video to collab with or that card that I was inspired by because there is ink blending in the background and it is in a rainbow. A slightly different colors of in the rainbow but it's definitely a rainbow so it worked really well for my kind of style of card. So for the ink blending I'm using a bunch of uh, Distress Oxide inks. I have Squeezed Lemonade, Picked Raspberry, Wilted Violet, Mermaid Lagoon, and Cracked Pistachio and I'm just kind of blending them back and forth. This isn't going to be a perfect blend and I don't think that it needs to. Um, because it's a rainbow, I mean, I think that you expect vibrant colors. So I'm not really concerned with trying to get a perfect blend between my colors. I'm more just focusing on having um, a nice consistent color across. And this is also a really fun technique, which is probably why I chose the card that I did, um, is because uh, ink blending over embossing powder is a really neat resist technique and I that's another one that I enjoy doing so I was really really drawn to that one card on Alicia's uh, YouTube and uh, Instagram that it just kind of touched on a bunch of um, techniques that I just love doing so I was pretty drawn to her card so here you can see I just have a piece of paper towel I'm just buffing off all of the embossed areas removing that um, ink and I do change what piece of the paper towel I'm using just to make sure that I'm not kind of smearing the other colors in and now this uh, stencil set is a two stencil set it's uh, from Studio Katia it's the birthday balloons duo stencil and this is the second stencil and through this one I'm just adding a bit of um, glitz glitter gel to the balloons that are left um, in that stencil. Now this is an added step, you don't need to do this. This card would have been stunning regardless, but be because I'm a little extra and because I love glitter, I couldn't refuse. And because this is a two-part stencil, um, I just couldn't refuse adding a bit of glitter to this. Uh, but it's not necessary. This is just me uh, adding in some glitter because I just I can never refuse adding a little glitz and glitter to all my cards. And I think that it also um, just kind of gives you a little bit more interest in the background. So here you can see I've stamped out two of these little pandas. This is from the Simon Says Stamp. Um, I believe it's the big birthday set. Um, everything I use will be linked and listed down below. But you can see I stamped it out a few times there. It's because I didn't like how crisp the black ink was, so I switched to a different black <laughs> ink just because I wanted it to be more crisp than it ended up being. And for my balloon element that's going to stand up above, I have some Simon Fogg cardstock and just a little balloon die that was in my stash. Now for my sentiment, I'm going to use uh, the um, Big Wishes? Make a Wish, sorry, Make a Wish is my stamp here. And I'm going to heat emboss it with the same, everything the same that I did with the original 
heating embossing from the background and I'm going to do it on a piece of black cardstock. This is just a scrap I had in my stash that matches the black perfectly of the black mat that's going to go underneath the cardstock, uh, the card panel. If you've been to my channel before, uh, you'll know that I love to black mat things, although I have been trying to kind of step away from it, but I thought for this rainbow, the black mat would just look stunning. So I ended up adding it in because I just couldn't resist um, having a black mat with this specific design. So here I'm kind of adding the little uh, stem to my balloon and this took me kind of a minute to figure out. I've never actually added uh, string to any of my cards before or, or anything, uh, thread or fibers, anything like that. I've never added them to my uh, cards before. So I opted to use, I think this is a baker's twine from Lawn Fawn and I kind of had to sandwich it a little bit interestingly. So I kind of put down a piece of quarter inch um, double sided tape and then I brought in a little bit of tacky glue to get the fibers to stick down and I used my reverse tweezers to hold it in place while the glue dried. Um, there's probably easier ways to do this than what I'm doing here but this was the way that I figured out while making this card that worked. So by all means, if you know a better way, please let me know. Um, I just kind of did it this way because that's what I came up with while I was playing with it. But um, I just, it works. It just was a bit odd. And then once that was dry, I'm going to trim off the excess because this is just going around the balloon. And then I'm going to create the kind of tail of the balloon. And for that, I put another piece of that quarter, or I believe this is an eighth of an inch, sorry, score tape on the back of the same piece that was on there and then just attach down a, another piece of the baker twine to um, have the kind of stem piece or, or string that would be holding the balloon to the little panda. And I did also off screen fussy cut out my little panda. Um, I don't mind fussy cutting, that doesn't really bother me. I know some people don't enjoy it. I believe there is a die set that matches that stamp set. So you don't have to cut it out, but I opted to cut it out. So completely up to you. Um, I don't mind fusty cutting, but I know some people really don't enjoy it. So here I just have a glitter, uh, sorry, not a glitter, a white jelly roll pen. And it's, I'm just adding kind of a little white highlight to the sides of the balloons, just to add a little bit of interest that on this kind of flat cardstock. Um, I left it flat intentionally because it's not really trying to take away from the background. And that's also why it's gray and not a color. I kind of wanted it to be this really cute image on top of this vibrant background. Uh, so here I'm just going to lay down my black mat and I have an A2 sized card base here and I, my black mat is one eighth of an inch smaller than my uh, card base and my panel is one eighth of an inch smaller than my black mat. And that's just kind of how I tend to do um, my measurements. And honestly, I eyeball my measurements. Um, you could use dies, you could... Um, do something different than what I do but I use my trimmer and just eyeball uh, my measurements and I also eyeball laying down my layers. Um, I don't really need it to be perfect so I don't mind uh, just laying them down but that's kind of what I opt to do. And then we're going to put everything together. So I have my little black strip there with my sentiment and you're going to see me kind of futz about this a little bit. Oh sorry I'm going to create the banner end for my uh, sentiment first which is just one trim down the center and then just kind of fishtail bannering the uh, other sides and meeting it and I'm going to play with the layout a little bit here um, I wasn't totally sure what I wanted to do as I said I've never added uh, thread or, or this is twine to my cards before so I kind of end up playing a little bit with how I want the layout to work um, so just bear with me um, you know what the card looks like you've seen the thumbnail but it just kind of played around with this a little bit until I kind of liked the layout of it and then I'm going to start to uh, adhere some things down. So make sure you go and check out Alicia's video. Um, I can't wait to see it. I don't know what card she chose of mine to be inspired by and I cannot wait to see what she chose and what she came up with. Um, I think this is an amazingly great opportunity for, for just to have a great collab with someone who's a really amazing creator. So I hope you'll go and check out her channel and see what video of mine that she created. And if you're stopping by from her channel thank you for stopping by thank you for checking out my video i hope that you're interested in what i made and i hope you'll consider subscribing leave me a like leave me a comment i i respond to every comment that everybody leaves because i just i love hearing from you guys and knowing what's going on for you 
So see, here you see that I, I kind of, um, I flipped over my little panda bear and I added some of that same double-sided tape to the back and then stuck my balloons down after I had trimmed them down to the heights that I wanted. And I'm kind of now trying to figure out how to lay them out um, a way that I like on the background. So I'm kind of, I'm going to end up gluing them together and then I'm going to end up popping some of them up on uh, some, with those thin 3D foam squares you see in the corner there. Um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do here, but in the end, I think it turned out really cute. So you'll have to let me know what you think because uh, I love, I love, actually, I love how this card turned out and I, I never have enough birthday cards ever. Um, I find that that's one of the few cards that I need more of every time I go to look at my stash. I've given them away or... I never have enough, so I thought that that was like a perfect uh, card to be inspired by. But yeah, so I used one foam squares to kind of stick down the one balloon in front of the other two, and then I used a little bit of that same glue to glue the two back ones together. Um, and then I'm going to add some dimension here on the card. So these are a new, well, new to me, um, craft supply, these thin 3D foam squares. And I have to tell you that I am crazy in love with them. Um, they are so easy to peel the back off, as you see right there. And they're so easy to uh, use. And they're so thin. Um, they add a little bit of dimension, but not so much that you can't uh, kind of, like I have some foam tape and I find it's way too thick. So it doesn't really work well generally because I like to mail a lot of my cards. So I'm just going to show you the final product here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you'll go and check out Alicia's video as well. And if you enjoyed it, leave me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I cannot wait to see you guys again. Thank you so much for stopping by and have a great day. Bye-bye guys.